In this video, I'm excited to introduce you to Tori, a cutting-edge cross-platform desktop application framework that empowers programmers to easily create desktop applications using familiar web technologies such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, along with popular frameworks like React, Vue, and Svelte. Tori's versatility makes it ideal for any web developer looking to dive into desktop application development without a steep learning curve. Web technology has emerged as one of the most robust UI technologies, functioning seamlessly across various platforms that support web browsers. With Tori, developers have the freedom to design their UI exactly how they envision it on the web. This means you can create stunning and user-friendly interfaces with the same skills you use for web development. However, there are certain scenarios where desktop applications outperform web apps. One of the key reasons for choosing a desktop application is the access to native APIs. Web apps, confined within browsers, face limitations in interacting with the operating system. For instance, accessing the file system or reading clipboard data in the background is not possible with a web app. Desktop applications, on the other hand, enjoy greater access to native APIs, allowing software to achieve superior performance using languages faster than JavaScript. So, it would be perfect if a desktop framework can leverage the flexible UI and huge ecosystems of web apps and also provide access to native APIs. Tori consists of two primary components, a front-end built using web technologies and a back-end known as Tori Core, developed in the Rust programming language, communicate using inter-process communication, the front-end empowers you to craft flexible and visually appealing UIs using your preferred web technologies like React, Vue, or Svelte. Meanwhile, the Rust-based backend opens the door to accessing native APIs, such as clipboard and file system operations, enabling your application to perform efficiently and smoothly even for computationally intensive tasks. When we talk about building cross-platform desktop apps using web technologies, we have to mention Electron. Electron is probably the most popular cross-platform framework out there today. Electron has demonstrated its worth by being the foundation for numerous renowned applications. A brief glimpse at the list of successful Electron-powered apps includes Slack, Discord, Twitch, Notion, and Visual Studio Code. Each of these widely used applications attests to Electron's capabilities and popularity within the development community. With the recognition of Electron's achievements, let's embark on a comparative journey between Electron and Tori to help you make an informed decision about which framework best suits your needs. Before going into any technical details, let's first look at what developers think about them. The State of JS survey provides valuable insights into how developers perceive JavaScript-related frameworks, including frameworks within the context of mobile and desktop development. This survey categorizes frameworks based on factors like satisfaction, retention rate, interest, usage, and awareness among developers. In 2020, Tor is not even on the ranking. Electron wins with a 89% satisfaction rate. 2021 is the first year Tori gets on the stage, and Tori won the first place in retention rate by 1%. If we look at usage, Tori is only 2%. Electron is still the winner. In 2022, Tori wins again with a huge margin. It leads the second place by 13%, and Electron by 17%. This result has proven Tori's excellence. Now, let's compare them in more detail. Electron itself is more like a barebone framework, lacking a predefined template to kickstart a project. As evident in its documentation and quick start guide, developers are guided to build an Electron project from the ground up, beginning with initializing an NPM project and employing pure JavaScript and HTML. While learning the fundamentals from scratch can be beneficial, the process of setting up everything manually can be time-consuming and complex. In today's development landscape, relying solely on vanilla JavaScript is becoming less common, especially when dealing with intricate applications. Instead, developers often prefer starting with a pre-configured UI framework scaffold, accompanied by TypeScript support, unit testing, E2E testing, and other essential features. Even packaging an Electron app demands additional dependencies like Electron Builder and Electron Forge, which must be installed separately. Here, Tori shines as a more developer-friendly option, it offers a variety of official templates that works out of the box and seamlessly integrates with modern framework scaffolds. Converting a web app into a desktop application becomes a breeze with just a few clicks, eliminating the need for manual file additions. Tori streamlines the entire process out of the box, sparing developers the hassle of connecting backend and frontend. It comes equipped with features like an updater and app builder, covering all aspects of the development and production build workflow. To me, the way Tori works is just more elegant, and convenient. Electron has many community-maintained boilerplates. In fact, I believe most people will pick a template rather than build everything from scratch. The maintainers are doing a great job maintaining these boilerplates, but I personally prefer official boilerplates for their superior stability, reliability, and up-to-date nature. I encountered an issue with an Electron Plus View boilerplate that I won't name here. Despite the development server functioning, I face difficulties in creating a production build due to certain bugs. Such instances can be frustrating and lead to unnecessary time wastage. To avoid such roadblocks, I find that official boilerplates are a more dependable choice. Being curated and maintained by the framework's core team, they undergo rigorous testing and updates, ensuring a smoother development experience. Ultimately, utilizing boilerplates provided by the framework's official sources not only saves time but also inspires confidence in the stability and reliability of the development process. Bundle size is a prominent concern that many people have with Electron. 
but Tori emerges as the clear winner in this aspect. According to benchmarks, Electron consumes around 160 megabytes, while Tori impressively uses less than 10 megabytes. The stark difference in bundle size is attributed to Electron's inclusion of a Node.js runtime and a Chromium browser within the app, resulting in a significant package size. Even an empty Electron boilerplate can easily reach 200 megabytes. Each installation of an Electron app means installing a browser and Node.js runtime on the user's computer, leading to substantial space wastage. Tori, on the other hand, takes a more efficient approach. It abstains from bundling Node.js runtime or a browser. Instead, Tori compiles the backend code written in Rust into a binary and leverages the existing browsers on the operating system to display the front end. This clever design significantly reduces bundle size. Tori uses WebView 2 on Windows and WebKit on Mac and Linux. Read more in the documentation if you are interested. The main difference is these WebView browsers are shared across the system. Installing new Tori apps doesn't duplicate the browsers. This is similar to the difference between dynamic and static libraries if you know what I am talking about. The execution time difference between Tori and Electron is not significant for regular tasks. However, when it comes to heavy computations in the background, Tori gains an advantage. Tori's backend is written in Rust, a language known for its speed, outperforming JavaScript using Electron. While you can improve Electron's performance with native add-ons, it introduces complexity to your app. If you are willing to learn Rust, Tori becomes a straightforward choice as it works seamlessly without additional modifications. But note that you do not need to know Rust to get started. JavaScript is enough to get you started. Moreover, Tori boasts smaller memory consumption, fewer thread usage, and fewer system calls compared to Electron, leading to better performance overall. Although I haven't conducted an in-depth experiment, it is likely that Tori apps consume less battery than Electron due to its efficiency and resource optimization. Indeed, Electron, being a more mature framework, currently offers a broader range of native APIs compared to Tori. For instance, Tori currently supports only reading and writing text on the clipboard, whereas Electron extends support to various data formats, including text, image, HTML, RTF, bookmark, and buffer. Before opting for Tori, it's essential to carefully assess your application's requirements and the necessity of specific APIs. If your application heavily relies on APIs not currently supported by Tori, it might be prudent to consider Electron or explore other alternatives. So if some of these are necessary for your application, think carefully before choosing Tori. You can still use Tori if you have the ability to write your own API plugin in Rust. For example, I need my app to read screenshot images from Clipboard. While Tori doesn't support it, I built my own Clipboard plugin. In another video, we will talk about how to make a plugin. Before deciding on a framework, I highly recommend conducting thorough research on the specific native APIs you require and outlining your software's expectations, including considerations like memory consumption and performance requirements. Understanding your project's needs will help you make an informed choice that best aligns with your goals. A significant advantage of Tori comparing to frameworks like Flutter and Qt is that you don't need prior knowledge of Rust to use it effectively. The UI coding in Tori is exactly the same as building a web app. All native APIs are accessible directly in TypeScript and JavaScript, so Tori should be the best choice most of the time unless you have any special needs. Tori has a big community where you can seek support. The official documentation is the first place you can look for help. Before asking, read the documentations and search with keywords. If you get into any trouble you can't solve, go to Tori's GitHub issues and discussions. You may not be the only one with such issues, and it's very likely you can find an answer there. Another excellent resource is the awesome Tori GitHub repository, which showcases numerous apps built with Tori. Many of these apps are open source, allowing you to gain insight into the capabilities of Tori and learn from their implementation. If there's a specific feature you wish to implement but are unsure how to go about it, studying the source code of these apps can be enlightening. You can also join Tori's Discord server to seek help. While Tori is a promising framework, its community and online resources are not as extensive as Electron's. The documentation is comprehensive but lacks in-depth coverage for certain aspects and may be challenging to find some resources. To bridge this gap, I will create a tutorial series sharing techniques and tips I've learned while using Tori. The tutorials will demonstrate building desktop applications with Tori from scratch, helping others navigate the framework more effectively. Thank you for watching and see you next time.